you know, I want to ask you guys a very serious question. And if uh, you've been following me this past couple of months or even recently through the elections and through all of the prophetic words and the sharing that I've uh, been giving you guys, you would know that uh, it's been a very big up and down uh, time for many of us. And I want to just ask a lot of you guys as you've been maybe listening to me, maybe you've been reacting, maybe, you, maybe you're in hope, maybe you are, um, you know, throwing stones or wherever you are. I have a lot of people watching this video across uh, or this channel across the world. But I want to ask, where do you guys stand right now? Because if you think about it, a lot of you guys have been listening to me and you guys have been watching these videos and the news and everything that's going on in the world, almost like it's a movie. You're just watching it and you're just sitting on the sidelines and you, you're throwing thoughts, you're pointing some fingers and you're getting, you know, emotional, you're reacting, whether you're positive, whether you're negative or whatever like spectrum you're on. And you're making these decisions for yourself, for how to dialogue with people. And everyone's taking a side, everyone's um, doubling down on something, they're retracting uh, and, you know, falling back. Whatever it is, everyone's doing something. And I just want to ask a very serious question because this has been on my heart and uh, something I've wrestled with as well as how I'm just wanting to share this as uh, a word of encouragement because a lot of people aren't really checking themselves and really asking, them, asking themselves this question. And the question is, where do you stand with God? Where are you with God right now? Because as much as you can you know, talk about all the prophetic things as much as you can talk about Republican Democrat, as much as you can talk about Biden or Trump, you can talk about what happened, should have happened, what didn't happen, what could have uh, been and what is going to come and all these different scenarios and all these different uh, takes at it. Really, the key question that happens all the time in life in general, whether it's a thick atmosphere like this, whether it's a very um, you know sensitive and very uh, a tough climate to live in right now, whether it's justice, whether it's politics, whether it's social uh, things. There's so many things that can go into your life for which it can stir the pot and it can allow a fire to be lit under you for you to react or not to react or to close off or to open up, to check your perspective, to check and understand your paradigm and so many things. But the key question that still remains is where do you stand with God and where are you with God? Because Ultimately, God wants to know, where are you in your relationship with me? Some of you guys don't know God and you've just been following this channel and you've uh, followed the news and you just never question where God is in the middle of everything. Some of you guys are Christian or you are believers and you're wrestling with so many questions about life, about promise, about hope. And you don't really think through the depths of where your relationship is with God. What is God trying to teach you? What is he trying to do with you? And so many of us, this entire period, we don't really understand that. And I want to encourage you guys to really check yourself and really just stop in, in any way. I'm not talking just to naysayers. I'm talking to everybody. Really stop yourself and ask, Lord, where do I stand with you? Because so many of us, our hearts are being exposed. And I've talked about this. People's true colors are showing as you're throwing words. Some of, some of you guys, and I address you guys too, are, you know, saying all these words, uh, nitpicking at the different things that I may have said or other people have said. And you don't even realize that your heart is being exposed, that God is trying to teach you certain things about how you are so wishy-washy or you are so uh, uh, struggling with anger, or you're struggling with bitterness or struggling with these different things where because of your condition and, and the conditional aspect of certain things not coming to pass, or you just being triggered by somebody that rubbed you the wrong way, you're reacting and God is wanting you to really check and see where do you stand with me? Because the way you're showing love, the way you're showing different uh, emotions and whatever it is, it's not pleasing to me. And he wants you to check those things because those were hidden deep in your heart, but now it's come out. And even for the people on, on the other side or in between, so many of you guys were on the fence and you guys were just thinking, you know, oh, what is going on here? I'm going to tune out or I'm going to follow this person. I'm going to take a side one foot this way, one foot that way. And so many of you guys, so many of you guys are one foot in with God and one foot in with the world. And you don't have a discernment or um, an anchor or a foundation to be able to really root yourself 
in understanding and discerning the truth. And that's why God is asking you and really revealing to you, where do you stand with me right now? Do you have a relationship with me right now? Because so many of you guys were conditional and it's reflected and you guys are discouraged. And you guys are just uh, pouting. You guys are <clears throat> showing emotions that maybe you've never seen before, right? And so he's asking you, where do you stand with me? And there's other people right now that are just on the other side with, you know, even where I am, where you're standing, you're standing firm and you have, uh, and you think you have an idea of what's going on and you have peace and these different things, but you've given up on other areas. You've given up on praying. You've um, given up on loving others and really uh, praying through the details. He's allowing you and me, for that matter, to get to the next level, to examine your heart and really be able to understand what is it that he's, he wants to teach you in this next stage. Because many people are even standing there, told you so, like it's going to happen the way it's going to happen. And even in the pride and in the arrogance, you're standing there and you're thinking those things. And really God is teaching you guys as well, all those that follow and even agree with a lot of the things I'm, I'm saying, right? All of, no matter where you are, if you want to call it a spectrum, if you want to call it the condition of your life circumstance and your, your heart, where in your posture before the Lord, everyone has a different condition and a posture. And this season right now, as we're waiting and as, as different things are changing and you're uh, being awoken, maybe you're starting to look up different things on what's going on. If you're trying to listen to different types of people, you're trying to discern different uh, channels and avenues, you're, you're start, starting to be awakened if you haven't been already and you're really questioning different things. And a lot of you guys are looking outward. You're looking at, okay, I'm trying to listen to this person. I'm trying to understand what prophetic is, I'm trying to understand what the news is. I'm trying to understand what truth is, I'm trying to understand all these different things. But really the key question this entire time that God is wanting you to do is question where you are with God. Like, are you standing with him and are you trying to seek him in the midst of all this chaos? in the midst of all this um, uncircum uh, uh, cir uh, circumstances that just you have no idea what how to make of it. And God is calling you to a deeper level of faith, a deeper level of intimacy with God. And people don't really see that. And that's what this channel is about, but also what this season is about, what other people are encouraging you to do and what God wants you to do. Because it takes a crisis. It takes a circumstance. It takes a lot of different things to wake you up and to get you to question your faith because so many people are on the sidelines and they're like, ha, this is a great little movie or a little drama. Oh, it's funny because Chris did this and other people did this. And you're pointing and you're saying, oh, you know, Biden had this happened, that happened. But you are still not questioning and getting yourself uh, with God, meaning your relationship with God, getting deeper in the word and really having a dialogue with him. And he's trying to do this for a reason because he wants you to take part and as I've said this before, back in December, he wants you to take part in this kingdom movement in waking up and, and being united in the body because God is trying to revive the people. And I've said this so many times, he's trying to awaken people. He's trying to unite the body. But you, in whatever like spectrum you're on, whether you're left, right, whatever, in the middle, you are not contributing to that because you first and foremost have not come to humble yourself before God and say, God, I want to have a deeper intimacy with you. And even as you're watching this video and other videos, you're like, hi, ah, yeah, I'm good with God. I'm good. I'm, this is fine. Don't worry. Even in that attitude, you haven't really questioned where your stance is with God. And I want to encourage you guys, wherever you stand, this message is for me. It's me this message is for everybody else, uh, no matter where your posture is, for you to get deeper with God and to evaluate where is it that I stand with God? Because that's a serious question that you have to be asking yourself on a daily basis, no matter what happens, no matter if this guy wronged you, no matter if this circumstance didn't work out the, in the timing that you think it did, no matter if um, things are a blessing and things are going well right now, you cannot be clouded, you cannot be disillusioned, and you cannot have uh, um, these external circumstances clouding your intimacy with God. And so I wanna ask you guys, really evaluate, this weekend, today, as you're watching this video, where do you stand with God? Because God wants you to be awakened to Him, not to um, you know all these different circumstances. Yes, it could be true news versus not true news. It could be something you can understand or not understand. That doesn't matter. You may be able to understand certain things, certain truths. You can hold on to certain promises. That's all great. But really, it's about your relationship, your intimacy with God, and where you stand with Him. Because at the end of the day, God wants all the glory 
He wants all the praise. He wants all uh, the honor. And he wants people to have a good standing with him, to stand for righteousness, to stand in intimacy with him. So I want to encourage you guys with that. Hopefully this helps. And um, continue praying and continue abiding in him. So God bless you guys. We'll talk soon.